When I first met you, it didn't take long for me to realize how amazing you were. At the time, we were just sophomores in college who didn't have a clue where our futures were headed. But as I look back over the past six years, we have grown as both individuals and as a couple. We have worked through and overcome so many different situations in our lives. From moving across the country, to starting our careers, finishing graduate school, and buying a home, you have comforted me during the lowest points of my life and also celebrated with me during the best. No matter what circumstances surrounded us, we never gave up on each other and always put the effort into our relationship. For that, I am truly grateful. You are the most generous, kind, caring, loving, and hardworking man I have ever met. I promise to always watch Patriots games with you, cook your favorite meals, laugh at your corny jokes, binge watch Netflix together, and still yell at you to do the dishes. Andrew, you are truly the best thing that happened to me, and I am so proud to become your wife. Olivia, it's hard to believe it has been five and a half years since we met. In some ways it has flown by, and in others it feels like I have known you all my life. I would not trade these years the next chapter in our lives for anything. We packed quite a bit into the last five years when we just scratched the surface. From the UK to Spain to California and countless states in between, you've brought me out of my comfort zone and helped me to grow so much from when we met sophomore year at Roger Williams. We also survived not one, but two cross-country road trips. If 2,800 miles in a car together without leaving somebody at a rest stop in Arkansas doesn't qualify you for marriage, nothing will. We spent a year in the desert of Arizona and had to adjust to a new city, environment, and apartment. I would not have had the courage to move there if I did not have you by my side. Wherever we go, you have made a new place feel like home to me. I cannot create, wait to create memories with you in our new house as we make it our home. I can honestly say you have made me a better man and helped me to grow to hopefully be the husband you deserve. So Olivia, today and for the rest of my life, I take you to be my wife. I promise to always be kind to you, support you, and care for you. I promise to always keep exploring new places, push you and expect you to push me, and continue to be with you. I like to say that the aim of marriage is not to find the perfect person. It's not even to have a perfect relationship. It's for two imperfect people to share in an imperfect relationship in a way where you truly share in life together with all of its imperfections and all of its idiosyncrasies. In the book of Genesis, it says, therefore a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife and they become one. You see, marriage is all about two becoming one. And what this means is that from this day forward, Andrew, you're gonna be known as Olivia's husband. <laughs> and Olivia, you're gonna be known as Andrew's wife. And this won't define you entirely, but it becomes a part of your identity. And it becomes a part of what you share together. Andrew has stuck by me, 
and has remained my friend. Spending the weekend of his bachelor party the whole time making sure that we were all happy and having fun, not even worrying about himself. Seeing him today make his vows and start a lifetime with the luckiest girl in the world, he has found his true love. I have never been more proud or more honored to be able to stand up there with you. So, to the bride and the groom, everyone could raise their glass. Slapcha. Ha, ha, ha.